Sometimes you might need more components as usual to manufacture a product. Let's say you need to produce a desk combination of four desks and two chairs. And your customer again asks for one more desk. All right, you can do that, but you need to register it. In this case, this happens. Odo has a flexible component consumption available. And if you enable this, you can consume as many as components as you needed at the time of the registration of the items. So let's explore flexible component consumption in Odo 16 manufacturing module. So let's see how can we manage flexible consumption in Odo 16 manufacturing module. For that, you can just get into the manufacturing module. Here we will be managing the flexible consumption of desk combination. So you can consider the bill of material and let me choose the bill of material. So we are going to manage a combination of office chair, black, corner desk, left seat and drawer. And we will be performing an operation of packing from the packing center, which takes almost 30 minutes for packing. And here you can also set the version uh, that is the flexible consumption. So Odo basically provide three operations such as allowed it, allowed it with warning and blocked. So as you choose the flexible consumption as allowed it, uh, consumption of additional components or fewer components is permitted for all users. And if you're setting the flexible consumption as allowed it with warning, then all manufacturing users may consume more components or fewer components as long as the um, they provide a summary of difference in consumption when closing the manufacturing order. And you can also set the flexible consumption as blocked. And when the BOM consumption is not followed, the manager can only close the manufacturing order only after conforming with a piece of warning information. So let's see how can we manage the flexible consumption if you set it as allowed it. So for that, you can just consider a manufacturing order. So let me create a new manufacturing order. So as I choose the disk combination as my bill of material, you can see all the details over here and under the work order also, the work order operations that we gonna perform will be shown here. And you can also see the uh, quantity as well as expected duration. Um, now let me move on to the components and let me confirm the manufacturing order. So as I confirm the manufacturing order, you can see the number of items that is reserved and the items that to be consumed as well as to consume. So under the work order, you can set the components if you want more or less. So let me uh, just choose the tablet view. And when you open the tablet view here, you can find the materials. So let me choose the hamburger icon and let me choose a component. I need to add the component uh, with an additional quantity. So I need to add it as office chair uh black and i need two more quantities okay so let me add the product so as i add the product you can see that the item will be added over here or the component will be added here and let me validate this so after validation you can just move on to the uh manufacturing order so afterwards when you just move on to the manufacturing order here you can see that the item that is added so let me choose that and here you can uh, see the item that we ha have added right now and that will be shown here and uh, the items that are reserved and uh, all other details will be shown here. So here you can see all the consumed quantities and everything and when you just move on to the work orders you can just start the work order. So once the work order is done from the um, your yeah, working center packing you can just click as then and you can just click it as mark as done and you won't be getting any message as you choose the flexible consumption as allowed so this would allow the users to add the components or just um yeah reduce the components of uh, frame the consumption of the actual number of the components and now let's manage with the allowed it with warning as the flexible consumption so let me consider uh the yeah, bill of material of uh, this combination itself and let me choose the flexible consumption as allowed it with warning and let me save this afterwards let's create uh, a bill of material uh, I mean manufacturing order so let me go to the manufacturing orders and here you would be able to find all the manufacturing orders and 
yeah, let's she was the manufacturing order that we have created right now. And let me duplicate this action. And under the work orders, um, let me, yeah. Before that, let me confirm the manufacturing order. And uh, under the tablet view, let me add a component. So let me add the component that is corner desk left seat. So you can just search for corner desk left seat and you can set the quantity. So I need two more quantity. Afterwards, let me click on add the component and let me just validate the process. Afterwards, you can just back to the manufacturing order and we will be repeating the same procedure. So you can just consider the manufacturing order and yeah, here you can see that the corner desk writes it as not available with two quantity. And uh, afterwards you can just start the process and you can manufacture that process and just mark it as 10. And here you can see currently the component still is not available and if the manufacturing is 10 you can just click it as mark as 10. So as you uh, set it as mark as 10 you might be getting a consumption warning as you have chosen the allowed it with warning. So here you can um, allow the consumption but you might be getting a warning message that you consumed a different quantity than the expected for the following product and please confirm it has been 10 on purpose. So if you want to set the quantities and uh, do that, you can uh, set the quantities and you can say do that. Or so in order to, I mean, confirm the consumption warning, you can just confirm the order. And you can see we have done with that. Now let's see how can we manage the flexible consumption if we set it as block. So here, let me again um, create an action. I mean, duplicate this action. And afterwards, uh, let me again consider the bill of material of this combination. And here we are going to change the flexible consumption as blocked. So as you choose the flexible consumption as blocked, um, yeah, if the BOM is not followed, then the manager can only close the manufacturing order only after confirming with a piece of warning information. So you can just move on to the manufacturing order and here you can see the manufacturing order of this combination. And after that, uh, let me just move on to the work orders um, and let me first confirm the manufacturing order and let me choose the uh, tablet view. And afterwards, you can just add the component, which is, yeah, drawer. So let me set the component as drawer. I need five quantity of drawer and let me add the component. So as I add the component that will be shown here and I can also set a lot number for this and let me just click on validate. So the component is right now added and you can just back to the manufacturing order that we are going with. And let's see the difference what is going to happen. Now you can see uh, the component is currently added over here and we can just start the process and once the manufacturing is done, you can just set it as done and afterwards you can just click it as mark as done and you might be getting a consumption warning that you consumed a different quantity than expected for the following product. And please review your component consumption or ask uh, your manager to validate this manufacturing order. So here you can see that as we choose the consumption as um, blocked, you might be getting a consumption warning. And you can just force this consumption warning or set and validate this. So let me force this and afterwards you can see the change over here under the components. So this is how we manage with flexible consumption in Odo 16 manufacturing Module so, so hope now you know to manage the flexible component consumption in order 16 manufacturing module. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.